right. Okay. He <laughs> paused the Witcher for this. It's good in it, the Witcher. I've been enjoying it. <clears throat> it's not all, it's not all good, but it's good enough. It hasn't hurt me. Yeah. <clears throat> out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins so if it's all right it's my turn to fix dinner D uh, haven't you forgotten something little one just one little thing mr Renser, please it's been a very long day i don't want to now lucy i thought we'd settled this last week don't let's forget who pays your salary we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. <coughs> That is the price for humanity. And what else might be? I think he's supposed to look like Lawrence Olivia. Perhaps some virtue. Not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh my god, no! That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen! Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. VR 61661, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering <laughs> that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. <clears throat> Is this good? Jim Walls was uh, one of the lead designers on this game. VR six one six six one report to division headquarters. Code three. Repeat code three. Last time I had a three was with <laughs> Jim Walls. I'm telling you. Bird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of ptomaine poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guzo was one of the old time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him, 
but you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Because it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. That's the guy Don't get us. too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in, and Steel's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. What about really that make a girl feel wanted. <coughs> Animal murder down at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for rep detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse. They never had a chance. I'll bet. You put Can them you? on the machine? Can Hell you hear no. me? There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What scoos I got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the Good, okay. You can't hear me. Right, okay. I was just worried because, like, ask, Slim. YouTube was saying my audio bit rate was zero, which would mean that there was no audio. So I thought, surely someone would have said if they could Animal hear sales it. was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones, though, powered by rechargeable batteries. <coughs> No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. Hmm? What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? Say the the sock, he's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Actually, I, I still have <laughs> the discs for this, and for some reason, uh, I decided to buy it again. Can you really not? Is there really no subtitles? I guess not. I guess there are no subtitles, so uh, we just have to make do. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Just gonna have to listen extra hard, aren't you? Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. Interesting. 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 Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even. Quite a pair.
Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. Security camera. It'd be a banner day if it recorded anything before it was shot out. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely <coughs> malevolent. Every time I go to make a joke, he makes it. Can you think of anything Which suggests either A, First, I I've sort of internalized the, the entirety of this, the <laughs> or B, yeah, no, the writing is quite good. Animals, but they started <laughs> executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts? Do you ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Berseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for about a month. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. Did you treat her well? Jim Rawls obviously well wrote every word of this. Should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. My precious one. She was my baby. Well, one thing I like about this... In some games, when you uh, double click, he runs. But in this, hmm. a toy dog. In this, if you keep clicking every time you click, he runs a bit faster. <laughs> How he leaves in Chinatown? I'd eaten there myself. A candy bar. Yuck. Well, isn't that cute? Monkeys. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Ask me about the security camera. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. Oh, you can... I, I remember now. You can do this, can't you? You can tell him to... Do that. And then you get to make the dialogue choices yourself. Stick around. I may not be finished with you. No, maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah, I think you, there's another way of getting that footage, isn't there? Oh, put that away. Oh, look. Actually, let me just try something. My precious one. <laughs> she was my baby. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. <coughs> Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. Zilcho. You know that famous expression that people say. Probably go to the station and see if I can get that security footage. Ground floor, roof, um. laboratory. Main 
A-frame and shoot ground floor. Lock up. Yeah, every time you click he runs a little bit faster. <clears throat> it's like those Shrek videos. Bryant, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You know the procedure. Dump it all in the mainframe upstairs and I'll read it later. You got it. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah, suicidal targets would make my job a lot easier. Everybody's got a job, kid. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back. Yeah, everybody's got. <laughs> the Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from Off World Service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders' meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. Well, my score is zero. Decades only ten. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Lucky strikes. Crystal's I knew she was even though she Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. Let's do the shooting wrench. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally let you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. I remember when we worked vice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn Fourth of July out there. <laughs> you probably shouldn't tell people that. You keeping busy, pal? Nah, the place has been pretty quiet the last couple of days. <clears throat> Hit the lock, Jack. I guess there ain't no harm in it. That woman had, had a baby. I had to shut a woman with a baby. Baby replicant. Ah, oh, fair enough. That's okay then. Oh, I can't do it. It's shit. I can't do it. <laughs> Stop shooting me. Oh. 
There's never any situation like this in, in the actual game. It's a bit like the um, the shooting tutorial in Spycraft. You never have to have a shootout in the game. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. So this is a Westwood game. <clears throat> And it's just come out on Gorg, and I'm hoping that means that they'll get some more Westwood games on there, which means possibly Command and Conquer. Not holding my breath. Oh my god. I think all the guns are like bright blue. Completed sequence. Proceed to next station. This makes a ton of sense now, you know it's Jim Walls, yeah. Like Jim Wall sees the world, just people pop just targets popping out. <laughs> sometimes you have guns, sometimes you have babies. You can't always take the risk. Thirty-five. Well, we beat Deckard. As long as we're ahead of Deckard, we're fine. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. That's right, we download the footage from the security camera there. Um, how do we do this? Judging from the distance, about 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. This guy lives across the This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Judging from the disc scrap. She can't my back. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. I think she's quit smoking still. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? 
Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in BTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. Anything else? Zip man, try me later. <laughs> they probably play with Jim Walls for all of this, even though he clearly didn't write it. <clears throat> McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You wanna make some money? Pay me large, you got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a book. Got to mix more out back. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business driving, night always beautiful. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chop to come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just month. Superior chef. Makes all kinds of new suits. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro. Just arrived. I fix you right up. No one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Clean Prince, as a whistle. I remember that for some reason. That See you later, me. Howie. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? Ah. <sighs> <laughs> A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some chinion? Sorry, pal. All I got are hundreds. Hey, that'd work. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was gonna root through trash, my expectations weren't too high.
See you later, Howie. Do you want to ask him about that? Got ya. And here comes Gaff. <laughs> he was just waiting. <laughs> That you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. The only rumor has it. You just saw me shoot that guy. They couldn't get Edward James on us. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You'll VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and air. Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the kipple. <laughs> How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. See you then. Yuck. <coughs> Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. Good doggy. Orf, orf. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. <laughs> The camera footage? No, I didn't. I still haven't got that. I can't remember how to get it. This is the problem. I'm trying to play it from memory rather than figure it out myself. I don't think you need it though either. Moment of reflection there for. Uh Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials. No messages. Someone moved the body anyway. Has been cleaned up, hasn't it? I've got a
gotten all I can from that. Yeah, he's gone. That black paint, most of them were shot. How long is I checked with you and air? Looks your rep swung that moon bus massacre last month. They ever find the moon bus? Disappeared into thin air. Ryan thinks it crashed out in the kipple. Right. Uh, oops. Clicked off it. I'll head to the um, station again. Shooting range. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Let's see anything. Oh. This is Crystal Steel badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney... Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin <coughs> job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh, no. Recording off. Describe them to me again. Just the Rastafarian fellow. And that, that friend of his. A slim blonde man, Asian, with, with a ponytail. Can I see my attorney? Bravo, Spencer. You've done your civic duty for the day. I'm going to put the, um, that on <coughs> so I can choose the dialogue options myself. Yeah, we still don't have the, the footage, so fuck it. I want to see Goza. Goza, 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 Goza. Goza. Goza was the bad guy from Ghostbusters. Brian, go on permanent leave and you get full use of the office, Lieutenant? You'd be amazed. You've really been surprising the troops around here, kid. Gaff says you work their retirement like a champ. Just doing the job. Yeah, well, don't get too cocky. Those sixes can be damn unpredictable. That, I know. But I'm proud of you, McCoy. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Thanks. Payments is wiring the advance to your account as we speak. How much? Couple hundred chinion. Enough to buy a sandwich or two. We gotta hold back the rest until the lab does the autopsy. Paperwork, you know. Should take more than a couple of days. So, the check's in the mail? Hey, don't worry. The boys upstairs want to keep our best and brightest happy. Any idea what you want to spend it on? I was thinking... Maybe a companion for my animal at home. Forget that. Buy yourself something... Something nice. Once you start carving up that juicy bacon, kid, the taste never goes away. 
the great things in life. Believe me, you'll just be wanting more and more. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out there. Those reps ain't retiring themselves. Yeah. Everybody... <laughs> I just enjoy clicking over and over, making me go faster. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I got some more questions for you. Tell me about your protest at Tyrell's plant. I already told that other detective everything. Under duress. I want to know about the people who were there. The Rastafarian and the Asian guy with the sunglasses. I don't know them. Were they together? They seemed to be. I saw them talking. Before or after the explosion? Before. I didn't see them at all after. That's all I know, I swear. I wouldn't even know where to find explosives. I, I'm not a violent man. Of course you aren't. You just want to let replicants walk the streets. They're not killers, detective. They're innocents. They just want to live a decent, productive life like you or me. It's that simple, huh? I got some more questions for you. A lot of people involved in your cause? Spencer? Yes, sir. We're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. We're peaceful people, detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad. So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, detective. Sure you are. We're not children, detective. We have resources. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped. A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. Man, they really thought 2019 was far into the future, didn't they? The other detective, she already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh, look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care... Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. So sit down. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. <coughs> nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. I try to do better next time. You notice someone attractive across the room. If I thought the attraction was mutual, I would ask her out for coffee or lunch. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh cut flowers. That's illegal, isn't it? I'd mention it to the secretary. Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. I'd call animal services, of course. I wouldn't try to move it myself, not without proper equipment. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd leave. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. I wouldn't keep it bottled up inside. I'd tell her what was bothering me. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. I love life too much to commit suicide. You wouldn't know about that, would you? You return from work 
to find that your home has been burglarized. I'd call the police. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Appropriate. For a killer. Are you taking any drugs? No. How does your machine work? Is it a lie detector? Not exactly. Your verbal responses aren't what's important. Why? You got something to hide, Spencer? Absolutely not. Test terminated. No. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right? In, in all the years I've played this game, I've never figured out how to do the BK test properly. I just haven't got a clue how it's supposed to work. Roof. Laboratory. Anything else? I'm not convinced that it does. Man, try me later. So I guess we're not getting that footage, that's fine. We got everything we needed. I guess. It'll show up at some point. Yeah, I've had it. I've had it work, but I don't know how to make it work. Your floor number, please. I've read the manual. <laughs> McCoy. The manual does not make it clear. Yeah, I think he does. Let's go to bed then. Portrait of the sleep deprived. Portrait of the sleep deprived. That's what he says when you go to bed. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! <laughs> you control your rat. I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good is a whole deep meaning for me now. There be a research on Nexus 6. I need mean, test studies, contacts, rewards. Only civic leader! Expert! Terrestrial gravity! <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true light building across town. Oh, I swear, I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Mirage, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA row. They're all working down on DNA row. You one miserable package man. No, <laughs> no, please don't. <coughs> Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. 
Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little break in. The Tyrell surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs of the deal or not. Tyrell security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Maggie, come here, girl. Who's the best dog in the whole world? Who's the best dog in the whole world? <laughs> Your floor number, please. Where are we going again? I think it's a little there. Uh... Upstairs, Jog. McCoy, LPD. Uh, just a minute. Where do I go? Grav test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisenbuehler ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. The kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model. A comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? I couldn't even begin to guess what Eisendahler's password was. Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. <laughs> Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. Disgusting. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Ah, <laughs> oh, Kat was saying that earlier. Is <laughs> hearing yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face. You're liable to end up with a severe limp. If you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. If you spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Oh, I think we've seen everything, really. <clears throat> I 
Eisendaller had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendaller, so I figured they must be worth having. Lagging behind again? Kuza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? I'm still putting the pieces together. It's all stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Jeff yeah, mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know, offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendeller's moo-moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Issued movement. Clue database transfer complete. What have we got? Anything new? Someone had tried to access a bunch of the detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story. But I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series. Most of the employees. One of Tyrell's Kingston Kitchen. The dump. The earring was shaped like an insect. <coughs> Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grab Test Lab. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that.
The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, so you get you basically get the same evidence from the um from the crime scene as you do from the photograph. A bomb. Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Wasted paper, Ian McCoy. Okay, I think that's enough. Some money. Can the department float me some chin yen? This investigation's getting expensive. Look, this ain't on the department tab, okay? This is a personal loan. Thanks, Lieutenant. This goddamn city don't know how to manage funds. They've been flush for years. I thought we were under budget. Trust me, ain't nobody getting rich unless they're sneaking some on the side. Hell, I can barely pay for the fuel for my car. Ever hear of public transportation? Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. The goons over at the Tyrell building wouldn't let me talk to their boss. Maybe you can set up a meeting. Anyone else in the whole company who knows anything? <laughs> you and I both know it's a one-man show over there. No, give it a try, kid. I'll have to pull some strings, so don't go in there half-assed. Make sure you got some legit questions for the resident genius. Appreciate it, Lieutenant. Sorry to bother you, Lieutenant. I was just checking in. We'll get back out. Yeah. Everybody. Get out of here before I throw my desk at you. Run, 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 run. I don't know why I just enjoy though doing that. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects. They're no good companion. But fish. Fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks. I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects. Official LPD business. Ah. Down at end of Animal Wall, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. Cheap. Nice looking creatures you have around here. See? Good product. It's 
Scorpio's my best work. Finest quality. Isn't that illegal? I have permit, senor. My customers demand authenticity. Is this your work? Ah, dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subterra. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? Item like that, very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item, and most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get Dragonfly jewelry. Then, you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend? You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Careful, senor. They are poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchase one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that we do, senor. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? It's kind of ugly. Why don't you talk me into it? Might I interest you in a snake over one? Not today, thanks. Ah, uh, Bullet Bob. I remember Bullet Bob. Had a 45 blaster under your coat, or you're just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect. Blade Runner, huh? I'm gonna put something away, but it ain't gonna be my gun. Fuck you. I crossed the line. Bob was a psychopath, but I was almost sure he wasn't a replicant. I didn't have a lot of time, and my options were pretty lousy. Stay and face the music, or take off and hope I didn't get caught. I'd crossed the line. Bob was a psychopath. But... Jesus. Yeah, so you can just murder that guy. Oops. How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davy Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davy like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Because I know that police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. You want to drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin in for it. Okay, let's have it. You want to make it as a Blade Runner? You ought to do your own investigation. You want to make it as a Blade Runner? <coughs> That's what we want. We want. Poo is the correct one. Well. Step up. Step up. Mama Isabella cooked you something special. 
put a glow in the team. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah! Let me tell you, that man can't eat! Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bills. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. Thanks for your time. The earring was shaped like an insect. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Kingston Kid. See? I know so. Thanks for your time. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit-chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. A free drink. McCoy, LPD. I need to ask you... What was that? Oh. Hey. You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. Hey. You're horning into my action, rookie. Take a stroll. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? Value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? <laughs> Easy. Ever consort with a group called CARS? C-A-R-S? CARS. What is that? Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. I don't have time for such pursuits. How about Spencer Gregorian? The same goes for him, whoever he is. Funny, because he described you to a T. Even down to that stupid little ponytail you got. It's called a trauma. What would you say if I told you Gregorian named you as one of the people who was there when the Tyrell building blew up? There's a mistake somewhere along the chain of communication. So, you're denying all involvement? I won't lie to you, Detective. There was a time in my life when I might have been involved in such an organization. I actually care. But now, all I care about is my business. I am nothing but a humble salesman. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished item. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this?
There were off-world rifles here and more. Grenades, explosives, modern rifles, even some police-issue restricted weaponry. Izo wasn't some small-time fence, but a big-time arms dealer. The exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. Nothing else there. You hang around a lot down here, then um, you can start attacking you. But you're gonna wear my car, you let me look at the thing. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Another bust. Well done, Makar. You're doing well. Where'd Steel go? Back, back me up, Steel. Oh, you blew your retirement loot this time, Slim. What are you doing here? Tracking this piece of shit. What are you doing here besides putting your nuts on the chopping block? Investigating Ezo. Maybe we should compare notes. Maybe you should find another line of work. Just in case I'm not around to bail you out next time. I'll wait for the uniforms. Why don't you grab yourself a slice of quiche or something? And pick up a bottle of scotch with a real blade runner, will ya? Just kidding, Slim. Hey. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? Well, the important thing is he's dead. <laughs> Whoever he is. Oh, that leads to runters. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Do you hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Anything unusual happening down here? Ah, uh, business slow today. But tonight my people bring over baby barracudas. They're very cute. You should buy. I'll pass. I was fresh out of leads. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendollar murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell's security to protect them. Some rest. I'm sure you need it. Fuck you, Gaff. You're just angry because they couldn't get Edward James almost a boss voice you. <laughs> what? What you do? 
But they could get James Hong. <laughs> Excuse me. Deliveries to rare. LPD, I got a couple of questions. You wait. You know, take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaler is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, come. What you want? You were close to Eisendaler? Eisendaler? <laughs> no, no, no time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaler test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Marcus is dead. Chew work hard all night, all day. No stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? Your time more important, huh? Eisendaler dead. Moraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts. Moraji? You eat supper with Moraji every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Moraji didn't show. Did you call him? Hey, call. I knocked. Ten minutes ago. Door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing. Nothing. Tell me this. Hey, hey wait. LPD, you there for something, huh? LPD? I'm very busy. I will wait for nothing. Tell me this. Hey, hey I'm very busy. Well, he wasn't much use, was he? But the important thing is they got James Hong. He wasn't too busy. What was Edward James almost in around this time? Was he in anything? Whoa, hold on. I recognise someone. He's gone. Missed him. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. That's how you defuse a bomb. <laughs> Oops. Run! Run! Hold on, an ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins up, up there up the stairs the twins did they do this no tall men with red locks the bomber and a, another with beard piercing eyes what did they want DNA information to God forgive me. I told them, told them about the twins. Don't shoot. <laughs> McCoy, Rep D Tech, BR61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here. Victim of an explosion. His name is uh was Miraji. He was able to give me a description of the two perps just before he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs? Or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got the illegals off the street. Appreciate it. This is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism.
The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. He kept the charge small enough to leave the wall standing. If he just wanted to take out Miraji, this was overkill. If my instincts were right, he was the same Joker who lit up the Tyrell building. Dangerous, but still an amateur. Locked. No <laughs> way through here. The vid phone was one of those old Zenith jobs, the last electronic tech that was still produced on this continent, in Mexico to be exact. No wonder the sucker was on the blink. I've gotten all I can from that. Half the workspace was tidy, the other half a total disaster area. The tenants were clearly the oddest of odd couples. Hello, Luther. Hello, Dan. You have no new messages and one save voice only message. Would you like to hear the saved message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's J.F. Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure is all ours at Sino Bell. Yeah, they got William Sanderson as well. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. Right, I should We should probably go and talk to Tyrell now. Get the rest of the celebrity cameos out of the way. Don't miss anything. There ain't nothing left, detective. William Sanderson's quite a good get, isn't he? He isn't, isn't uh What you want? I'm busy. Listen to me. Busy, busy. You not delivery man, you go away. Distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises. I must freeze. Beep, beep, boom, boom, boom. Always make me rub eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? What? What of Maraji? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> He's funny though, like old movies. Miraji Master Chef. Like Blade Runner. <laughs> go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> you mentioned twins. Yes, yes. Luther and Lance, Siamese twins, live about Miraji. They're genetic designers? Well, <laughs> till last month. Got the booth, shit can. From who? Big boss, who else? Hey, anybody tell up? You go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business? <coughs> uh, I think the guy who runs the shooting gallery is Jim Wells. What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. You walk down the alley, you find it. What about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like Luther, only different. Don't know which which. That's so? One long hair, talk a lot. Always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. What kind of deals? Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. 
like salesmen. <laughs> Very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runsitter? Who? Never heard of Runsitter. No time for charade. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, all. Sorry to bother you. No, that's an old professional. James Hong. Getting told to just mumble some nonsense and doing it. from the film. I don't think we get to meet Sebastian now. Hello. But we do get to it see It was some kind toys. of freakish toy. Half mechanical, half organic. Rep technology for sure. But no one was going to give me any retirement bonus for it. I think he found us, man. One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. Told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's an opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm thinking our brother not hearing too good. <laughs> Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? You ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. The girl, she's sick. She no gonna get no better. That's where you're wrong, Sadiq. She will live. Maybe. But this one? He got it coming bad. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith. I hate these friend. two characters. Without contrast or progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. Who does he remind me of? Catch me if you can. How long have I been here, Lucy? How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runsitter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runsitter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's very nice. He's in me. Are you really the hunter? Like father says? It's my job. Why? 
What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just the law. Would you hurt me? I promise yes. you I won't. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Father will be back soon. The guy who'd set the bomb had been sloppy. What do we do? What do we do? How do we get out of this? What do we do? What do we do? Someone tell me what to do. Well, we can't leave this room though. I need to like get out of the chair somehow. I keep thinking these 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 pipes are like. Something, but no, no. Oh, hello, what's this? Okay, I don't even know what that was, but apparently that was what we needed to click on. It felt and smelled like real cheese. Dairy products were choice contraband, scarce and mucho expensive. Selling them was a class A felony. Hysteria Hall was an arcade down near Nightclub Row. Everything's a row, isn't it? Animoid Row, DNA Row. What was that on? Arcade Row. There. Toilet Row. You let them in my room? They had a warrant, mister. What was I supposed to do? They took my pictures. Couldn't stop them. How about me? You think I'm easier to stop? Who the hell are you? McCoy, LPD. LPD, huh? Maybe you guys can return something to me. How do you know we got it? One of your own. Invaded my property. Bad haircut. Stupid coat. The other guy. What other guy? Go play dumb. What about him? Nothing. I just thought you were going to arrest me, that's all. I don't care about your little run-in with the manager, okay? I'm looking for a couple of replicants. Can't help you there, friend. Maybe the clerk can tell me who was renting that room back there. Why were you hassling him? You let these creeps in my room. I'm a very private person. What have they got against you? Nothing, friend. I ain't done nothing. Well, we're all innocents, aren't we? Damn straight. And I don't like people asking questions either. Just help me out here a little more. You seen a big Rasta guy around here? Or a guy with a beard and dark eyes? A Rasta? What's that? He's got dreadlocks. Talks with an accent. Oh. No, I ain't seen no one like that. Look. My mother's waiting for me. You stick around. Maybe the manager will come back. That was really Brian James. The late Brian James.
Oh, this is where we chased. That's <coughs> where we chased. What's his name? The big guy. What's his name? I didn't know who was working this side of the pool, but whoever it was, they'd been pretty thorough going through the joint. I doubted if there was anything I could find that hadn't already been snagged and bagged. Nothing. Nothing. Anyway, the important thing is they got Brian James before he died to come and reprise his role in the Blade Runner video game. The car looked a lot like the one I'd been tracking. The driver had been smart enough to pull the license plate, but the vehicle identification number was still there. If I ran it through the mainframe back at the station, I could ID the owner. The wrapper was from a vendor I knew. Best lichen dogs in the fourth sector. That wasn't saying a whole lot, but with an arcade next door and a dozen nightclubs down the street, Mia and Murray's stand saw more action in a night than my spinster aunt saw all last century. <laughs> what? What? Doesn't even mean anything. Shut up, man. <laughs> oh, good. We're near where we packed. Let's go and meet Tyrell before we do anything else. I think we may have passed the point where this would be useful, but uh, we're about to hear the most amazing performance of the game. Beautiful, isn't it? The owl or the view? both the views amazing the owl well artificial things never did that much for me it's a flawless replica we used a real one as a model owls are extinct who told you the model was real dr. Terrell he's wrong or lying check your Sydney's Eldon wouldn't make up something like that you're Tyrell's assistant? Yes, I'm Rachel. Dr. Tyrell is very busy. I'm fully familiar with all Tyrell operations. He does know I'm a cop, right? Blade Runner unit? Dr. Tyrell has already met with one Blade Runner today and has important business to attend to. Your department should coordinate its efforts better. Yeah, but... You may speak to me or you may leave. I can't offer you any other choices. Fair enough. I wanted to ask about Marcus Eisendeller. I can't tell you who killed him, if that's what you're asking. We've already got a suspect. What I want to know is why the killer would be interested in replicant DNA information. That's a stupid question. Oh yeah? Why's that? Your suspect is obviously a replicant, a very dangerous one. I thought replicants were safe, more human than human. Isn't Dr. Tyrell pushing to make it legal to use rep labor to clean up the kipple? Are we here to discuss corporate policy or Marcus Eisendeller's murder? A little of both. You heard about the moon bus hijacking. Yeah, I guess you would have. Fifty people dead. <laughs> you can't blame. I'm surprised you aren't out doing spin control. 
The public gets nervous when your pets wander around the city without a leash. Replicants aren't pets. Right. Pets live longer and don't go around killing people. They... There are safeguards in the design. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen the data. Implanted memories of four-year lifespan. There's I'd probably get a little crazy too, but I don't think I'd start killing people. Wouldn't you? As I explained to Mr. Deckard earlier, I've given the Nexus 6 model a past. I've given it the purity and innocence of childhood. And all the joy and despair that comes with a real existence. That's hardly a death sentence. That's life. I thought you weren't meeting with any more Blade Runners today. Well, I decided to make an exception. Mr. Uh, McCoy, isn't it? You do understand the need for the Nexus 6 to have an identity. Not really. No. I do see why a replicant who has an identity would want to steal Eisendollar's files. Please, enlighten me. They want more life. They're wasting their time. They're gonna come for you, just like they came for Eisendeller. I have nothing to fear from any of my children. I tell them all exactly what I told you. Have I given you what you came here for? I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Then if you'll excuse me, I have a stockholder meeting to attend. Well, that was a waste of time. We didn't get anything out of that. The only thing that I learned from that whole situation was that they got Sean Young to come back and do her lines and they actually got Joe to kill and he he actually put some effort in. <laughs> Other than that. So there's Nightclub Raw, Hysteria Hall Raw, Animide Raw, uh, Chinatown Raw, Bradbury Building Row and DNA Row. <coughs> Head over to Police Row. Can you remember the Blade Runner, the film? Laboratory. During his last election campaign, Governor Kolbig promised No one cares. Uploading personal clue database. The mainframe confirmed what I'd already guessed. The car from Chinatown was the same vehicle that had smacked the hydrant at Runciter's. The car was registered to a woman named Dectora. She'd bought it from a used car lot in the fourth sector. I ran the name through records and came up empty. The used car lot checked out clean too, but maybe the owner could tell me something. Well, these are the these are the photographs we took from what's his name? He's a and there's Deckard in the background. Strange scale. Give me a hard copy of that. He is okay. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, I guess I guess we can't look at her, even though she's clearly important. Strange. Moon bus. That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Give me a hard copy of that. That's damn strange. Give me a hard copy of that. That is damn strange. Can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. <laughs> I was like, that. that can't be me. Give me a hard copy of that. That evidence that incriminates me, please. Uh, I'd like to have a copy of that for the file. We get a new weapon shipment. I haven't spoken to the lab guy in a while, have I? No, he's gone. He's not there. <coughs> Another retirement in the fourth sector today as... That weapon shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy under things in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much, if you ask me. Especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. And I guess there ain't no harm in it. <laughs> the assault teams busy, are losing pal? rifles nah, the almost as fast as they can. <laughs> and no one thinks that's strange. Lock up. Roof. Locker. Hey, we're in the lockup. Gregorian still there. You keeping busy, pal? Please leave me alone. My migraine's acting up.
Um, I'm going to go and see Bullet Bob. Off the window. Is this scale from a fish? Same as other one. Not fish. Snake scale. What other one? Other police show me scale from same snake. I send him to Abdul Hassan. How could you tell I was police? Both of you walking around look confused, like you in wrong place. <laughs> you have the same coat on as well. Any luck finding more of that dragonfly jewelry? Oh, see, see, I was right. The piece you show me was part of a collection. Bought for a nightclub in Fort Sector. You know the name of the nightclub owner? No, senor. But my friend, he says the man is not selling. Thanks for your help. You know where I can get some cheese like this? Don't know nothing about cheese. That stuff illegal. It bad news. I'm not looking to bust the dealer. I just want to know who bought it. This a clean place, man. Mama Isabella, law Biden soul. Thanks for your time. Nice bracelet, tough guy. Who's Maggie, your mommy? She's a dog. So is my wife, but I sure as hell don't brag about it. Pour me one. Just one? One, but one good one. Drinking on the job, drinking on the job. It's part of the perk Does of being a bad bridge, mean anything to you? anything else here so let's go <clears throat> to one of the different rows Remember this guy. Hey man. You're that cat from Howie Leeds. McCoy, right? We keep bumping into each other. You want an autograph? I know you ain't heard of me yet. But Gordo Frizz's autograph's gonna be worth a pile of chinyan someday. I'll hold my breath. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Man, don't you got anything better to do than hassle innocent people at their place of work? Make it snap, okay? I really appreciate your patience. You know the chef at Howie's? That big, flabby guy? Never seen him before. You were hanging around right when he took off. Pure coincidence. You are one hell of a suspicious cat, McCoy. Kick back, relax, watch my show. Take a little break from your boring existence.
tornado have in common? First, there's a lot of sucking and blowing, and then you lose your house. You know what my first wife's nickname was? Twister. Um. <laughs> the doctor calls up the I, gotta laugh. I got bad news and I got worse news. The bad news is you only got 24 hours to live. The patient says, what could be worse than that? The doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> Guess what happens to a replicant who does his job really well? Early retirement, baby. I see we got a celebrity in the audience. Can I get a spot, please? That's right. It's one of the boys from the local Blade Runner unit. One of the LPD's finest. Ray McCoy. Let's give a big hand for Rep Detect McCoy. He's protecting us poor slobs, ladies and gentlemen. He even thinks you're a replicant. He can waste you right where you stand. Nice job, oh, eh, detective? It doesn't quite work that way. How about yourself? You sure about yourself? Cause I got some friends, they say they know you. You're lying. <laughs> I remember early Q used to call himself a humanitarian because he'd recruit orphans for a sex club, then donate a percentage of their salary to his favorite animal propagation lab. Yeah, he was a real piece of work. This is reserved for VIPs. But that's my name, Vip. You're a real cute boy out of Hey, Hanoi, where's Early? Off world fat bomb. <laughs> you can do better than that. No, it's true. Mr. Q sent me a bit just yesterday. Get the hell of a tan he is. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment. And you've got no warrant. Early's waiting on me. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Sod off. You've got no appointment and you've got... Sod off, McCoy. I've got no time for you. I can't remember what to do. Can we shoot him? I don't think so. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. Oh, I remember, yeah, you have to get distracted by the dancer. Tell that sort off. Sort off you. Sort off. Sort off. Sort off. Sort off. What's your pleasure, sir? The highest octane. One Venus high trap coming up. It's definitely a good time to have a drink, yes. What's your name? Um. What's the green? Neptune's nip. I think you'll enjoy it. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, to a ten, ten and two. Why is it called that? Let's just say <laughs> it's a love potion. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah. Why is it called? Let's just say. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what I was supposed to do. 
It's funny how you remember things like that. Um, but not like the main thrust of what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> I'll try the. Uh, I'll try this back door. How old are you? Here he comes. Yeah, why don't you sort off? Sort off, McCoy. <sighs> I've got no time for you. I can sod it off. Oh well, this is a bust. This is another bust. I suppose I should head to the uh, arcade then. said Pat doesn't have a mink coat. She's got a good Republican cloth coat. That's all. You guys still battling it out? That's what keeps her marriage alive and kicking, Ray. Uh, what can but he's not there. The works. Coming right up. You know anything about he wasn't politics, there. Ray? Famous quotes, things like that? I try not to. How about the checker speech? Never heard of it. Well, Hoover's checker speech. Nixon's checker speech. <laughs> You're forgetting a lot, your old age. <laughs> right behind you, lady. You know where I could score some cheese? Like this stuff? Boy, don't flesh that around here. He's the police, sweetie. Besides, the kids today just as soon twist a knife in your backside as to ask a chinian for the tram home. You show that cheese around here, you become a marked man. Who sells it? No, we aren't asking for any trouble, Ray. I'm not working, Bunko. I just want some information. That nutty board who runs Kingston Kitchen. She's always bragging about her special ingredient. That stew she makes. It always did taste a little gamey. And she charges an arm and leg for it, too. That doesn't make sense. I found this wrapper. Yeah, that's from <coughs> one of our daughters. You wouldn't get real cheese if it was this uh, illegal and You've seen a girl secretly put here, it in your food, about 14, would you? With pink hair, maybe in the arcade. I was 14 with pink hair once, <laughs> a long time ago. Don't think he means you. Of course not, not now. We work outside Hysteria Hall, don't we? Well, we must see 20, 30 girls a day with pink hair. And every other color in the rainbow. Oh, there she is. <laughs> You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not going <laughs> to hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special. And beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Like on the video. So different from everything on uh, where I was. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is anyway. Why'd they kill Runsitter's animals? I didn't want them to. But father, he was so angry, and Sadiq said <laughs> Mr. Runsler deserved it for treating me that way. It's so funny. 
I'm worth less than those animals. Well, this one down here is playing Command and Conquer Red Alerts, the arcade so, game. All the and it appears to just be a, a, Mr. Runcer also used to buy some of the a, a two-second loop of a plane flying through a canyon. He used to tell me that he was protected, that they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. <laughs> There's another hunter after your family. We know. The woman who smokes. You've got to get out of here. You're a good man. Don't jump to any conclusions. You're gentle. Father used to be like that, too. He would read to me and tell me stories. Pretty stories, so I would have pretty dreams. He doesn't do that anymore? He's out with Sadiq every night. And he and Mother, they argue about what we're going to do. He's worried about her. She hasn't been well lately. That must be tough on you. I've seen death before. But the other day, I was thinking, if a person could feel love, real love, for even just one day, I think it would all be worth it. I agree. Out in a place with trees, and a lake, and flowers. I've seen places like that in books. You'll see them with your own eyes one day. You're not... you're not the hunter anymore? Go, quickly. Thank you. the exit. Ah, there. I'll just click this repeatedly until he runs at light speed. You see, you don't actually have to navigate the maze, you just got to click on the exit repeatedly until he runs to the end. Yeah, it's not even a hall of mirrors, it's just a maze of like corrugated iron. <laughs> oh my god. Who thought that was a good idea? Only 35,000. Yeah, red, orange, blue, puke, green, any color you want. Just give me 24 to hose the graffiti off. Just kidding. Ask for the man, Crazy Legs Larry, to loo. Admiring that bishy cat, ain't you? I don't blame you. It's a classic ride in a deluxe sport package. It'll push 125 without so much as a shake. Of course, you got to find the road for it. That's always the problem. Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch. Pleased to meet you. Ray McCoy. You can call me Crazy, you can call me Larry. You can even call me Crazy Legs Larry. But don't call me if you don't think a hot set of wheels ain't necessary. Okay. The Bishi's exceptional. Mechanical is Pacific Rim flawless, as usual. But they also save some of the classic styling of the old GM days. Looks like a piece of work. Forget those fibroplast Filipino heaps everyone's driving around. This is real. Just feast your eyes on this. You see it? You see it? That's actual chrome, the real stuff. They saved a couple hundred sheets of Tijuana chrome from before the war. It's completely legal and everything. Beautiful, isn't it? I don't Larry, think I've ever seen it before. Turn. And you probably won't ever see it again unless you steal this puppy. And honestly, no. Frankly, I gotta tell you, it's got your name written all over it. Ray McCovey. McCoy. It, give it, take a couple letters. I'll have to think about it. But don't think too long or too hard about it, Roy. It's liable to be gonzo by the time you come back. Gotcha. You sell a black sedan a few days ago? Black sedan? Hey, I got standards. If it ain't sporty, I got no room for it. I've seen the registration. I know a woman bought it from you. 
Oh, oh, that sedan. Hey, look, a sexy blonde wants to pay top dollar for the ugliest car in the place. Who am I to say no? Did you know who she was? No, but I'd like to know her in the biblical sense if you catch what I'm saying. Look, Ray, it ain't a crime for me to make a living. I hope you get paperwork for all these vehicles. Are we kids or what, Ray? You're talking to Crazy Legs Larry Hirsch here. I take that as a yes. You can take it any way you want. Just don't take it for a test drive in the fourth sector. It's a hilarious joke, Larry. I'm gonna go and press this button. I keep your paws off that, Ray. Fine. something I was about to do. Oh yeah, we got the cheese, didn't we? Mia and Murray tell me you're using cheese in your stew. Real cheese. Dim old buzzards. What they know? I could take a sample of that stew you're cooking back to the lab and have it tested. Why you pick on Mama Isabella? I never do you know her. Where'd you get it? My sister. She got connection. Where can I find her? She back in Jamaica, man. Far away from here. She send me cheese once, maybe twice a month. You know, funny thing you asking about the cheese. Last week, this ugly little man he run by, grab whole box of empty takeout cartons right off the counter. Police next door, they just laugh. Say the guy not be so happy when he opened them cartons. <laughs> What's that have to do with the cheese? Cheese hidden in that box, man. Keeping it safe till I cook up a new batch. So how could I tell police to bring back box? They find cheese, they shot me down. This guy who robbed you, what do you look like? Shark, real shark. Bad clothes, colors way too bright. Funny bow tie. Maybe you look for this ugly little TV, huh? I'm thinking <coughs> you not really care about the cheese. You're right, but I still think you ought to get yourself a different secret ingredient. You bet, man. That cheese been nothing but trouble for Mama Isabella. <laughs> Why use it then? It doesn't make any sense that she would use it. He's bullet ball orphan again. Locked. Bastard. Kind of shady underground. What? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the wrong way, isn't it? <laughs> the cheese has already been a problem today, yeah. That's true. Right, let's see if we can find this fucker. Sort of. Oh, he threw me out. He's had enough of our shit. Waiting on me. Sawed off. You 
got no appointment and you've got no warrant. Haven't I seen you around here before? Out, but you can just go back in and says anyway. There's the guy. Early, how's it hanging? Big slick and hard as a brick. How's yours, General? Your man gave me a hard time. Stephen Root. I like Hanoi, but I can't deny it. What's on tap tonight? Classy show. All evening, General. You well, someone look that up and tell me that that's Stephen Root. It's definitely Stephen Root. <laughs> you buy some jewelry at an auction recently? Real old, elite stuff. Who's that? You ain't the robbery homicide. No, sir. Well, those pieces ain't hot. I got the papers to prove it. I picked them up at legitimate auction. Cost me nearly a pound of flesh, too. You give this stuff to a girlfriend early? You kidding? I ain't that stupid. No, no, no. I was letting one of my dancers use this stuff in her act. Kind of a tribute to the ancient swamp thing. You know what I mean? Which dancer? Heck, you yeah, huh? She's gone on. She's one of my biggest earners, too. She ain't in any trouble now, is she? Not yet. Good. want to slaughter the goose that lays them in golden age. It is Stephen Roos, I knew it. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. So now I've spoken to him, what do I do? I thought that was going to be it. Hey, early. I'm working right now, General. Ask me later. Hit me again. You pick the color. Ah, two at ten, ten at two. Why is it called that? Let's just say it's a love potion. Obviously, didn't know that was going to happen, did I? Haven't I seen you around here before? <laughs> like, who, who, who specifically thinks that? <laughs> That a swamp, a dragonfly, and a swamp are like good sexual. Oh, I, don't know, I can't even like complete a coherent thought about it. Okay, she's gone. wanted to say wow you were awe-inspiring well thank you very much <laughs> and he's doing the nerd Mr. voice just because Harrison Ford did the nerd McCoy. voice uh, Ray McCoy is there something I can do for you there's no Mr. reason McCoy? for you to do the nerd voice you're not you're not even disguising yourself you just told him who you were they had such an unusual belt as an antique they say it's from the last century those little creatures have always been my favorite <laughs> dressing up as a sexy Dragonfly? fly and yes. uh, Flying around as a dog poop in a sexy way. Tell you the truth, 
I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. I'm just going to save because... You buy a vehicle lately? A black sedan? I wasn't aware that was a crime. Buying the car isn't. Using the car in an animal murder will. Animal murder? That's horrible. I haven't seen the car for two days. It was stolen the day after I bought it. Is that right? Any reason you didn't tell me that right off? You didn't ask. Animal murder's pretty horrible. Yes. Any murder is horrible. And unfortunate. Some are worse than others. But death's the same for all. No argument there. Look, I want to warn you. There's a woman looking for you and your friends. Why would anyone be looking for me? You know what I'm talking about. It's real important that you get out of here. I get it. You're some kind of sexual deviant. I'm finished with you. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes, this is an emergency. Early cues backstage. A customer is harassing me. Thank you. Put that away. I'm a cop. Now we wait. If your hand moves, I'll shoot. Okay. Please don't talk. The sound of your voice grates on my nerves. We waited there for a few minutes. Her gun and her eyes never wavered. Any other mark, I'd have been a dead man. But if she was a replicant, she must not have known it if she was willing to call the police. This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep D Tech, BR 61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you. Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? I'll tell you which one. <laughs> This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always got to live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. You want to avoid comp me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good, very convincing. Uh, where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Uh, who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about. Ah, what about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey, shut your trap. I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out. But I know you can do things. And on that account, I'm your man. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. There's something holy about it. How good I am at this. <laughs> Freeze! Don't even go for it! Oh no, the cooler character has come to save us. Just shoot just shooting right out as with a shotgun. That's you definitely safe. Yeah, how glad I am to see you. 
No time for chit chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. <coughs> Right, I'm going to load and do that differently because I'm pretty sure you can do that very differently. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? Sure I did. Long time ago. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the line you killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still going to give you the test. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. You rent a mountain cabin. On the wall, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. What are those? Nature art. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. Why would anyone hang a head on the wall? It was a different time then, wasn't it? You saying that makes it okay? Of course not. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. It was unhappy. Short. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. Ridiculous. I wouldn't. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. Now I know you don't write these questions. You don't really expect an answer, do you? Got one. Thanks. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. I'd stand up to him. You're given a calfskin wallet for your birthday. I'd report the manufacturer. Are you taking any drugs? Absolutely not. Do you think all dancers are drug addicts? You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I'd leave, and I'd report the restaurant to the authorities. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. What? What did I do? You tell me. Is that your game? No, I... You're crying. Why is that? No, I'm not. It's just a hypothetical situation. I don't know. I suppose I'm unhappy. Perhaps someone has died. I don't cry very often. Test terminated. Do you see what I mean? Like, there's You're no reason kind of it just suddenly deviant. stops. I'm finished with you. Get me the police. You're doing the right thing. Yes. Put that up. Now we wait. If your hand. Oh, please. We need to. <coughs> okay. Yes, and put your. That's right. Never. I reply. Where's your shit? Which pop? It doesn't give you any indication as to why the test's been terminated. What the hell took you so long? Oh, I had to reload and try something out different, but good thing you made your entrance when you did. Good thing one of my snitches saw them escort you out of the club. 
Otherwise, you'd be three quarters in the bag right now. They must have been phony cops hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That stripper you interviewed, she's one of them. Figure it out. She must have made the call to Baker and that other bozo. Let's attend to some business. I'm there. Nice crowd. You can see it anywhere? Not yet. You sure she's in here? Better look backstage. Check the balcony and cover the exit. I don't want this one giving us the blow off. Okay. <laughs> as effective as I remember. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? I think we can safely say that one's in biomechanical purgatory. You had to clear out everything else up here, too. Hope Early's got insurance. Putz employs replicants, he ought to expect the worst. Oh, sorry I missed all the laughs. Next time. It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR61661. Confirm one civilian kill. Ezo. Considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Izo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it. The look on your face after that last one. The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Well, that doesn't make sense. The whole point was that replicants in all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. <coughs> BR61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you gonna do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Uza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. Good God! Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me. But I was oh my god, that's the Command and Conquer soundtrack he's listening to. Geek, hoodlum, dork, freak. There is someone at the door. <laughs> Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Watson. <laughs> Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. Strange were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. <laughs> 20th century like a real drama. Listen up here. Piss. Do you, you think Mr. you are? Black have a strip like a couple no of goddamn return. cowboys. <laughs> Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look. There's very little to steal here. If, if you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, ma? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> Shit. 
take a good long look. Aha! Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us? Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good long look. Oh my god. Well now. You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a ref whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. Let's go back to where we just were. I'd seen chairs like this one before, and not just in my recurring dental nightmares. It was an old-time LPD soothsayer, a torture device used to elicit confessions out of hardened criminals. Its use had been banned for 10 years now, but most cops knew it hadn't totally disappeared off the face of the earth. This actor needs to work on his breathing. I assume you probably did because this was like 30 years ago. Well, 20, 20, 22 years ago. Oh my god. I might pick it up tomorrow, see if I can finish it. <coughs> yep, that's that's Blade Runner. Best game Jim Walls was ever involved with. Possibly. I don't know now. Now I've come back to it. It's not all as good as I remember. Uh, it's okay. It's alright. There's stuff in it that doesn't work. Like the, the VK test does, clearly just does not work as it's supposed to. And it also feels like they didn't really design the game around it working so it's like it doesn't really matter if you do it or not which is a shame because I feel like stuff something like that could have been a really unique idea but I don't know um, the character the, like the, the, the replicant characters are really annoying um, very 90s <laughs> that's not aged well um, some of the writing's quite good the, the like the, the jokes are okay um, they have like the, the cooler character being someone who follows you around and, and helps you out sometimes instead of being the one that you play as which is I kind of like that that's like a Metal Gear Solid 2 <laughs> kind of situation where you don't get to be the hero and what else was, there was something else I was going to say that's that, that bugged me a bit about it um, the shooting doesn't work properly <laughs> it's just a bit crap um, I 
and sort of navigating the maps a little bit annoying. Uh, but this is all sort of janky 90s stuff. Uh, but generally it's alright. Oh, Sean Young. That uh, was terrible. <laughs> she was so bad. But Brian James, you know, made up for it. Even though they were just, they just put these actors in just because they could. Uh, any any insights on your end? On the master on Jim Walls's masterpiece, Blade Runner. There was something that I remember. Um, there's a mechanic where you can. You get something from Bullet Bob. You get something from Bullet Bob that lets you um, block certain evidence before you upload it to the mainframe, um, and it, it it sort of means that your superiors won't see things. And I, I remember that being a really good idea, but again, a bit like the VK thing, it's not designed around. So it's like, oh, here's something you can do, but it doesn't actually do anything in the game. Oh, Jim Wells didn't write any of that script. God, I dread to hear the the alien isolation acting. Um, I remember Michael Bean in uh, some Aliens game. I never played the game, but I saw a video of it. Um, he was like really... Well, it, the video was of him recording his lines, so he was really... He was like getting really annoyed because all his lines had fucking it. <laughs> and he was just sick of, sick of reading bad dialogue. Oh god. I think whenever you get whenever you get um like big name actors or actors from films in games it's always a bit of a gamble as to whether they're gonna be any good. But you know it is what it is. It's not a bad game. It's better than Blade Runner 2049. I stand by that. Absolutely stand by that. That film was shite. And this is uh, this has actually got some redeeming qualities. So. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? I really want to hear Veronica Cartwright do that do that half-hearted scream. I really, I really want to. It can't be as bad as Bill Murray in the Ghostbusters game. Did you ever play that? Kyle McLachlan in GTA 3. <laughs> that was bad. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it's, that was fun though. It's fun. It's it's a fun game. It's it's got it's got, you know it's got ideas, they're just not quite all well executed or carried out to their entirety if you know what I mean well I think it's because the more famous the actor is the less direction they get because um, a lot of these the people who are like directing voice actors they're not used to working with big movie stars so if you get a big movie star in there they're like okay whatever you just do whatever you think and they're like yeah I'll just read the lines and leave it's fine I'm not getting notes it's fucking I think that's how it works. Because you know, when you go from like GTA Three with its bad acting to like Dennis Hopper in in Vice City, which is really good, but also pretty sure um, Dennis Hopper got paid a lot of money for that. <laughs> Because he, he has about twenty lines and he's like the one of the highest build actors in it. I think he had a lot of stipulations. But they had the budget, so you know.
Anyway, thanks for watching.